my name is Mary Zubke. I'm a registered dietitian here at Northwestern Medicine and Living Well Cancer Resource Center. This is another episode of Quick Bites. We're happy to see you again. This is, um, today we're gonna make tuna cakes. Um, you can also use other kinds of seafood. So I'm using canned tuna today because that's what I had in my pantry. If you get light, tuna as opposed to the albacore, you're gonna have a little bit of a decreased mercury risk because I get that question a lot. But any kind of canned fish will work and you can also use if you have fresh salmon left over from dinner the night before or if you wanna even do a frozen baked cod that you bake first and then use that. You can use any of those kinds of fish for that, for these kind of um, cakes. and. The, the thickening ingredient that I used today instead of flour was oats. So all you do is put the oats, um, this recipe calls for a cup and a half, you put it in the food processor and it comes out um, kind of like a little mealy and you can use that as um, the thickening part of the tuna cakes. So I have my tuna here that I drained. Um, water is gonna be a few less calories, so you can do the tuna and water. But if you have the tuna packets at home, you can use those as well. So what we're gonna use is, um, we're gonna put the tuna, the oats right in here with the tuna. And then we have an egg. And we're just gonna beat that lightly before we throw it in. Here we go. And then we have a little bit of Dijon mustard. Give it a little bit of tang. We're gonna be using, our secret ingredient today is a little lemon zest. So you um, just grate that a little bit to get that beautiful lemon zest. And we have a little bit of garlic powder. So we're gonna put that in. And then we have some fresh flat leaf parsley that I chopped up. So we're gonna just add all of those ingredients together. And one thing nice about fish is that it provides a lot of those good omega-3s. So those omega-3 fatty acids are gonna help with our heart health, but they also help prevent cancer risk or reoccurrence. So it's something the American Cancer Society recommends that we have two 3.5 ounces um, servings of fish a week. So. This is an easy way to have something quick out of your pantry and not have to worry about getting fresh fish. So you can see those oats are thickening it up nicely. And I'm using a fork so that you can get the fish separated and you can pull it together. And that egg is gonna give it some of the liquid that it needs. So you just kind of it takes a little bit of mixing, kind of mash it a little bit with a fork. And then once you feel like it's fairly well combined, you just shape it into little patties. I like to get my hands in there and do that, but you can um, use a spoon too and then form the patties. And I like to do them a little bit smaller, then you can have um, more than one if you would like for a serving. And then you're not, you're kind of doing an automatic portion control, which is nice too for weight maintenance. So we're just gonna add those to our skillet here. And we have two tablespoons of olive oil to get started. You may need a little bit more. And then we're gonna cook those for three or four minutes on each side. After they are done, we have made a little vinaigrette here, which has some Dijon mustard, some fresh parsley, and some um, oil and vinegar. So we are going to top that right on to our tuna cakes. And I have shown it today on a bed of beautiful arugula. So you can kind of dress that and dress the tuna cakes. And then just for, because it's so good on fresh fish or even canned fish, we're gonna do a little bit of lemon. This little tool you can use, it kind of helps juice the lemon, but you can also just squeeze it if you don't have that. So give it a little bit of a fresh start with that fresh lemon. And then you are ready to eat these tuna cakes. If you want to skip the bun, you can certainly do it on, on, do it on these bed of greens, or you could even use a red pepper as a um, bun, quote unquote, and get some more fresh, 
some more vegetables in your um, dinner. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe today. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.